Hello, hello, my squidlings. It is Katie here, and welcome back to another video. Today, we're going to be opening the Art Snacks Plus box. I'd show you the whole box, but it's kind of big, so we're going to be unboxing that today, so I hope you're excited. It's for the month of June 2020, so why not start out the summer with some art supplies? All right, so we have our standard items, which are, you know, in the bubble, blubble wrap. But first off, I want to talk about one of the Art Snacks Premium Plus items, and that is something you'll probably see my reflection in, so I apologize. Hi, it's me. Um, this is some black watercolor paper by Van Gogh, uh, Royal Talons Van Gogh. Um, it is a large amount of it, too. Uh, how big is this? This is an 8.3 by 11.17, 140 pounds or 360 GSM. Um, 12 sheets, and they are glued down on one side, so that means it's a watercolor block, which is really cool. So I'm excited to see the items that are going to go with this. So everything else is in the blubble paper, so we're just going to open this up. And of course, as we go, I will be naming off the plus items. Actually, I think I'm going to do that first. So another plus item is, I'm going to have to consult the card because this is a Kuretake item, and most of this is not in a language I speak. So this is a Kuretake Nihon Date Kabura Fude brush pen. I got that in one take, guys. <laughs> um, that's a lot, and um, it shows my weeb side. But anyway, I think this is a double-ended pen, and I'm almost positive we've gotten one of these before. I feel like this is like an out-of-the-vault kind of item, because, again, I have one of these, or at least I had one. It's actually a pretty cool pen, so... On one end, you've got a really squishy brush pen, and then I believe on the other end is like a fine... Oh, no, this one also is a squishy brush tip. Oh, this one's actually not squishy, so that is a hard bullet tip. But anyway, it is really pretty in general, and it's a nice black ink, of course. And so that'll be interesting to work with the black paper. And then the last uh, plus item is this. So it is a General's Pastel Chalk Pencil. It comes with a little eraser. Here's the color, kind of. I'll show you in a swatch later. Um, but this is Indigo Blue, so that's exciting. So these are the plus items that we're getting this month. Then everything else is in the regular Art Snacks box. So first off, we have something that may look familiar to you if you watched one of my Palette Full Packs box a few months ago. But we got a set of Rembrandt Warm Yellows and... <laughs> Okay, I'm not gonna lie, I got spoiled on this box a little bit early because some people in my feed had already been showing it, which is whatever, I don't really care to be spoiled on the boxes. But I was a little disappointed to get this color selection in particular because a long time ago, again, this feels like another out of the vault item because Art Snacks probably a year or so ago, we got another type of this and I'm pretty sure I got warm yellows last time. I don't have them from last time, so I can't actually tell you. I know I got a yellow set, so it's either the warm yellows or the cool yellows. I'm pretty sure this is the one. Um, I made a really fun piece with it, though, that I really liked. Um, so hopefully I can do that again this time. But uh, I am excited to use these more. I just kind of wish it wasn't in yellow. I wish it was like, the purples or the blues. Or I saw a bunch of people getting some fun stuff. So who knows? But anyway, enough of my complaining. All right, we got a candy to kind of go with the yellow-green theme. We've got a Dum Dum Sucker, and this one is in cream soda. Hey, why do you have a pineapple and lemons for cream soda? Eh, oh well. But anyway, Dum Dum. And then everything else is in the standard green tissue paper. Oh, okay, this is not how I expected it to be wrapped. All right, so well, we're just gonna get the sticker out really quick. And this pattern is really cool, but you can kind of hardly see it. So here is the Art Snacks sticker for this month. It's really cool, it's probably to go along with the black paper. Um, then, oh, we got a big boy. So we got a Creta color, mega color, in this like foresty green color. That was a lot of colors to say in a sentence. Olive green dark. So, whoo, she a big girl. Then we have an Edding 1200 metallic pin. This is actually something they teased. Um, it looks like it has just like 
air standard bullet tip um, and it is single-ended so we got a blue color then we got a zebra graphics mechanical pencil and one thing I think is actually really cool is you can actually turn this to tell yourself what lead is in here I actually don't know what lead is in here but this is a 0.9 which is actually larger than I'm what I'm used to that is some thick lead <laughs> Um, but yeah, I don't, this was set to HB, so I'm presuming it's HB. Also, here's the eraser. Well, maybe. There we go. It's under a little cap. And then the last item is something actually surprising. So this is a, I can't pronounce that word, and I don't feel like looking it up. So we're going to call it a chamois. <laughs> it's an artist chamois, and this is really good for blending pastels. So it's kind of cool that they included this, so I appreciate that. So yeah, here is everything that came in the box. And you know what? This box seems really fun. It seems very pastel themed, but we got some other fun items in here to go with it. And I'm excited to try out this black watercolor paper. I feel like a lot of people have been making and like giving in art boxes black watercolor paper or mixed media or whatever. So it's really kind of fun to do something a little different and, you know, paint on a different surface. So we're going to swatch these out real quick. I'm going to do it on white and black paper. Um, I don't think I'm going to film both, but I'm going to film at least one of them. And then, yeah. So here is a quick look at the swatches on some white paper and then we're going to go right into the illustration. And guess what? I'm still living in May because I just want to draw mermaids and I've been having a lot of fun. So you know what? We're going to keep on the mermaid roll until I'm done. I didn't get a ton of mermaids done in May so I thought I would do some more. So let's give you some stats on this box as I like to do. So the retail value of the regular art snacks box is $24.84 and the retail value of the plus box is $54.44. Now, I did some research online, tried to find the supplies online, other places besides Art Snacks, and the actual price that I could find um, for the base box, most of the stuff was at Blick, um, was $20.53. So if you bought it separately you know besides shipping and tax that's how much you would pay and the same for the plus box that was forty six dollars and fifty six cents so looking at that um again that doesn't account for shipping and tax which can add a lot of money um the base box really wasn't worth it because the base box is typically twenty four dollars whereas you know it's only worth twenty dollars the plus box however is before shipping is thirty nine ninety nine so that's a pretty good deal but anyway Let's not just look at the price though, let's also talk about the supplies and how they work together and all that stuff because that's really the important part, right? So we have a bunch of pastels and I have a huge love-hate relationship with pastels. Sometimes I love them and sometimes I just cannot handle them, but I will tell you, I have had an epiphany, a revelation. I have had... I don't know, I just, I found out how much I love soft pastels on watercolor paper. It doesn't make a gross scratchy noise, it doesn't feel scratchy. Now yes, your hands do get dirty, but that's kind of whatever. Um, and the chamois, I'm not gonna lie, didn't help much. I tried using the chamois and it would take all the pigment off. Am I doing it wrong? I don't know, I just ended up using my finger because it got better blends and 
Yeah, I wasn't messing around with that. But I really liked this box. <laughs> um, I am actually really surprised because, like I said, I have a huge love-hate relationship with pastels. And <laughs> I thought I was going to struggle hard. And honestly, I'm surprised. I created a piece that I really, really like. And again, I'm really surprised because I've not been super happy with black paper. I have a ton of it now just from all the various art boxes being like, hey, here's some black paper. Here's some black paper. Hey, over here, black paper. And I just have a lot of it. So um, I really didn't think I was going to care too much for this. But you know what? This box was like... I don't even know what to call it. It was amazing. Like, it, it isn't worth its value, so to speak, at least as far as the um, the base box is concerned, but the plus box really hit it out of the park. I could have lived without the uh, Kuretake Nihondate pin. I'm not going to go into the rest of that. I could have lived without that, but you know what? Um, outside of that, this box was really fun, and the only supply I did not use or like that I used that was not included in the box, I ended up grabbing a, um, what is it called? It is a, oops, I'm dropping everything. It's a brush pen, white. It's a Kudatake one. I got it in an art snacks box a few months ago. And um, I used that just to add some detail in other places where I couldn't get super fine detail with the pastels because I'm, they're really not made for that. Uh, but that's okay. I'm really, really happy with this color palette as well. Like, I complained a little bit earlier about the yellows and I was looking it up and they have a ton of different colors and I still am kind of like meh that I got yellow because last time a year ago I got <laughs> the cool yellows I checked and then this time I got the warm yellows and I'm like why couldn't I have gotten the blues or the pinks or the storm grays or whatever but anyway um you know what I'm actually kind of glad with the color palette I got because the Creta color ended up being a darker green, which went with these pastels really well. And then the blues, I had a blue metallic pen and I also had a blue um, chalk pastel pencil. And it worked really well with the lightest color in this set. It probably would have worked better with the other ones too, but I just used it with the lightest. It wasn't white, but it was like almost white. But anyway, it worked really well together. So I was actually able to create a piece that I really like. And usually, okay, it's really funny. When I sit down to use pastels, I create a piece that I always really enjoy. And I'm always just like, what in the world? Like, I feel like I evolved in my art and I'm just like, is my skill sleeping or something? It's like always when I use pastels, I don't know, but... Do you have an art supply that's like that for you? Like you just bust it out and you feel like you create better art with it? Because for, again, for me, it's pastels and it's really strange because I have the weirdest relationship with them. But anyway, did you get the Art Snacks box, Art Snacks Plus box? If you did, leave a comment down below. Let me know your color combo. Maybe show me what you created. Um, and yeah, I do want to let you all know that my Patreon is now reopened. I've got a bunch of new tiers, new rewards, new fun stuff, and we're going to be opening Discord soon, and I'm really excited for that. Um, I'm going to be making a video here on YouTube talking about my Patreon a little bit more in depth soon enough, but if you're interested in going over there and supporting me, um, that would be great, but if not, that's totally cool too, because I understand times are really hard right now, and... Um, you know, pension pennies and all that stuff. Uh, here I am just kind of plopping on these scales and then we're going to be looking at the final piece in just a second. I got a few different shots for you. I'm trying to upgrade my videos a little bit. I don't know how successful I am at that yet, but we're trying. <laughs> anyway, um, again, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you so, so much for watching. You're amazing. If you're not already a part of our cute squid pod, there is a subscribe button down below. Also, there is a link to all my social media where I'm hopefully going to be posting again. Oh, so bad with that. Uh, but anyway, you guys are incredible. And yeah, I don't know what else to say. I'm really bad at ending videos. Oh, I'm so awkward. I'm so sorry. So anyway, until next time, my adorable squid links. Toodaloo!